Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. So, I've been asked about links that you can get on the fittings that connect up your ball cocks, either the one to your tank in your loft or more commonly the toilet system ones. Now, here's a, a valve that this is the type that would go through your toilet system from the bottom, bottom feed one, and the bottom there, there's the kind of fitting you would have normally associated with connecting it. And you get a leak here and it runs down the pipe. So you try tightening it, but it doesn't stop it. And that's probably because it's got a fibre washer in there that's split or worn flat. Now there's a new fibre washer I've just put on this one. I'll just get it off to show you it, and there it is. And basically, a new one of those on there, and the job's a good one. Okay, now if you haven't got one of those, you, you probably would get one of them. Um, there's always a good old favourite, a bit of hemp which can be wound around it like so and that will also make the joint but I'm guessing that not many of you are going to have that stuff no <laughs> so the next best thing good old PTFE tape here it is here and usually around about six inches or so pull it off and twist it together like so and then we're going to put that round the screw joint and we get them up here once again. I know it's a bit more awkward when it's in position when it's under the cistern or going into the cistern, uh, and it's a bit more awkward to wind this stuff on as you can see, it tends to want to come off. <laughs> Dreadful stuff, yeah, but uh, we will persevere and get it on, and that's normally. That's normally another foul safe. Let's get that wound around properly. And that usually does the job as well. <laughs> okay, uh, if you can't be bothered to get the proper fibre washer. So, the other type of fitting you have going on to your valve, of course, is the old flexi here. Now, these, you can't do much with these. Okay, it's a new rubber washer on the end. You've got to get a bit more difficult to get. Uh, and if it's an old looking flexi, it might be better to replace the flexi completely. But as I say, that's what you've got to get renewed in there. Rubber washer and a fibre washer for the brass fitting. Once you've done that, uh, your fine should be all pretty good. We can get that back up on there. And obviously you can see that the flexi screws up on there. Just be careful with plastic threads, not to cross them. They're very easy to do. One last thing, uh, I'm showing you one of these bottom entry ones, but the side entry ones, I noted in the past that sometimes it can actually leak out of the thread. If that's the case, then obviously the washer or the washer from the flexi won't seal it and you'll have to renew the whole thing. But luckily they're not very expensive. Doesn't happen very often these days. But it did used to happen on the older ones where the nut would be done up on there. Something to do with the pressure made this thread go very thin and the actual thread start to leak. It would leak back through the thread and there's not much you could do about that one. But thankfully, very rare. Okay, well that's about it though. So, just a little one that I was asked about, how can I stop the leak? And that obviously is the same for a brass roof tank ball cop. I've showed you a plastic one. Same fix, all right. So, dead simple way. <laughs> okay, that's about it. All my stuff you're going to do. Day 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.